people always ask me what my fa the favorite part I've ever done, and I'm always like, whatever I'm doing at the moment, but I will always come back to Mary Poppins. Jane, don't stare. And close your mouth, Michael, we are not a codfish. It was kind of the first movie that I ever saw that I loved, so I always wanted it to be a musical, and then it became a musical, and I was like, I want to do this show. I was fortunate to get cast in the national tour of the show. Carrie, our Mary Poppins, and myself, we actually both started in the ensemble, and we were understudying Bert and Mary. As time went on, I got moved up to play uh, Bert, and then Carrie got moved up to play Mrs. Banks, but then she remained the Mary Poppins understudy. That's quite a treat to get to be back here and, and to do it with her, because you don't really know if you're gonna get to play with those people again or not. We had such a great thing out on the road. I don't feel six years older, but lots of things have happened since we were together doing this show. Precision and order. That's all that I ask. I think one of the best roles in the show is is Mr. Banks. It's Good very morning. funny to see like a man who hasn't really grown up. I've come and answered the advertisement. What advertisement? We haven't placed any advertisement. Mr. Banks was raised by his nanny, not by his parents, and that's what he expects a nanny to do with his children. And when they can't find a nanny, then he has no idea, really, how to be a father. Um, and part of his journey is discovering exactly what a father is. Don't forget the references. I make it a rule never to give references, but I thought that was usual. I can't imagine I would ever turn down the role of Winifred Banks. She's just, she's too interesting. And one of the things I love about the play versus the movie is that she is more important. She, um, in, in, in the realm of the story. If you want this choice, pause. Yeah, I have two fantastic children uh, playing my children. Jay and Michael Banks. And they are such little professionals and they're hilarious. This is my first professional show. I've never been paid for something like this. I mean, I do it for free. Yeah, pretend I didn't say that. I, I, didn't, I didn't say that, I didn't say that. Honestly, it's just all so exciting. They're, everybody's so nice. It's awesome, I just think it's unreal that I get to be in this experience with all these amazing people. Yes, I cannot wait to see their faces when we start to do the things on the stage with the magic because their joy will be so infectious and I think the rest of the cast will be able to feed off that and then play it to the audience. And that's what makes this show work, are the people that are in it. Because it's written perfectly, the songs are great, the story's wonderful, but if you have the people with the heart inside of it, then it really makes it something special. For someone who hasn't come to the theater before, this is the perfect play to come see because it has something for everyone. And it's made of magic. Mary Poppins is literally made of magic. And theater is always magic, of course, but this play has it in spades. Brant, our director, has a unique vision for this, which includes so much whimsy. And I think that is what is inherent in the Sherman Brothers songs, and it's why we love them, but isn't necessarily inherent um, just in the production, you have to put that in yourselves. Like, yes, you have the script, and yes, the, of course, you have the Sherman Brothers songs, which are fantastic, but at the end of the day, it's all of us agreeing to, to elevate the, the experience and to, to, to create that magic that really makes people want to see this with new eyes in a way, because we're asking them to kind of forget about the film that they all know so well and if we can draw them into this new experience as a cast I think that's the goal and I think it's a really great group here that's ready to, to embrace that challenge. I was asked if I had another Mary Poppins in me and I had just seen the new movie um, Mary Poppins Returned and I was like I need to play this role again and I mean I would have gone anywhere but this has exceeded expectation. I mean I would do it in somebody's backyard or a church basement but I'm so lucky to be here.